Hi, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to put images inside of picture boxes and use buttons to do so as well. So I'm going to create a new project. This name is going to be a little bit long, you can make it shorter if you'd like. Images, picture boxes, and buttons. As I explained in the previous tutorial, we're going to add a bunch of pictures to these to our resources. So we'd like to click on Project Properties, then go to Resources. I'm going to open my image folder. Drag those six small background images into my resources box. They should appear over here. I'm done with my resources now. In the previous tutorial, I showed how to put a picture as a background image on the form. Today we're going to create a control called a picture box and that is what we're going to use to contain our image. So here under the common controls we're going to choose picture box. I'm going to just draw it here on the screen like so. Over here in the properties window I'd like to change the name from picture box one to pick my image. Pick is the three letter prefix and then some name that you create. I'm calling it my image. All right. And then just as a way of showing you some things, I'm going to choose a border style here that's equal to fixed 3D which is going to give the, the box a little depth. And then, instead of changing the background image, which is what we certainly could do, I want to change the actual image in the box. So I'm going to click on the image, click here, and because I've already added these resources, I, I, they're at my disposal, I'm going to choose image 16 and that's going to be displayed in the picture box. Okay, now notice that my picture did not fill it. If you want to play with that, you need to come down and look at the size mode. Right now it's normal. I could use stretch image, which then stretches it to fit whatever box I created, you know, no matter what, what size it is. You could choose center image, I'm oh, sorry, auto size is the next one. And then no matter what size the box is, it will automatically fit it. There's no way to resize it here at this point. And then let's choose center image. And no matter where the box is, it will center itself. And finally zoom. It will choose the, the smallest dimension and fit inside that box no matter how you zoom. I'm going to go back to center image and frame my artwork like so. Now, the next step here is to create a button. We've done that before. Again, in the common controls button. And just draw it on the form. I'm going to rename this. Um, the prefix is btn. image 13. Okay, BTN image 13. This is not very efficient, but again, it's just for a little tutorial. The text, I'm going to change to image 13. So the user knows whenever you click on that button, we want image 13 to appear. Now this is image 16. What we'd like to do is have the user click the image 13 button and have the 13th image, the image 13, appear in the picture box. 
So this is a user-defined event. We're going to control it with code behind the button. So we're going to click the button, double-click the button, and that will open up the click method of the button image 13, BTN image 13. This is a sub-program. So the code is pretty simple. We'd like to change the picture box, which we called pick my image, right? So spacebar. The thing we'd like to change about the my image picture box is the image itself. So put a dot and then image. Type just you can type it in or just type I and then the spacebar. So then the picture image needs to equal something. Okay. And this is where um, experience and lots of trial and error and lots of uh, searching on the internet and reading books helps you. The thing we want to type in here is, is the word my. Okay. My is a namespace that we can use to refer to our resources. So my.resources. At this point, it's pretty easy. You just put another dot and then choose 13. And that's it. So now when the user clicks the button, the picture box will load the image of image 13. So let's see that run. So here's image 16. We click the button and there's image 13. All right. Why don't we pause here and let you put a, th a second button on, an image 14 button. So when you click that button, image 14 pops up. Again, this is not the most efficient way of displaying these images, but it's good practice. So pause the video, and if you're stuck, you can play it, and I'll show you my solution. So the solution is pretty simple. We just grab the button, control. It's nice that they're the same size. Change the name. Change the text so the user doesn't get confused. And then we need to add code. Now if we run this, 16, 13, 14. All right, we'll continue with this line of tutorials. Next, I'll show you how to use um, radio buttons to select um, which picture goes on more efficiently. Thanks for watching.